Yes guys, welcome oh. back to a new vlog. Oh, that sounds so damn good. It is a beautiful day here today in Cape Town and uh, yeah, it's supposed to be raining, but apparently not, as you can see. I'm here at the v and um, at the moment, gonna go and check out some of the cars that are taking part in the Cape 1000. Um, it only begins really tomorrow, but I mean, most of the cars are parked here already. Well, not most of the cars actually. Still a fair few that are uh, pulling through, as you can tell with that 360, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a very cool day. Sounding good. Gotta love a bit of V10 action. Going straight past. <laughs> Sounding very, very good. But let's do a walk around of some of the cars that are here at the moment. Yeah, let's start on the left here. We've got this uh, very nice looking Mustang actually. Um, sort of has a bullet vibe about it. I don't think it is like one of the bullet cars or anything like that, but uh, looking very, very nice. Almost like a resto mod type of Mustang because uh looks more sort of modern inside than usual but uh definitely love the color on it that's for sure and then we've got this very very nice turbo over here which sounded very very lovely earlier this morning looking so mean as well and then we've got this uh, jaguar xk150 with this 328 gts and then the mertia lager parked next to that mm -mm -mm. Haven't actually seen the specific Motia Lago before, so um, yeah, it's nice to tick another one off the list. Looking very, very nice with these sort of black or silver wheels. Some P zeros on it. Mm. Gotta love one of these. Gotta love a Motia Lago, man. And then we've got another Jaguar over here with the R8 making some noises. I don't know where it is. With this AMG GTS over here and a mustang and is this the gta oh for a man let's just have a look here if it is oh yes it is sorry my alpha knowledge isn't that great but i mean i know about the gta's that is very very nice very very nice with the lovely uh, gt junior 2000 over here and then probably one of the highest mileage, if not the highest mileage, Mercedes SLS in the country. And you can tell because, yeah. Look at all that degradation from all the rallies and driving he's been doing. I actually want to find out how many kilometers this car has because I can imagine it would be well over 100,000. Very easily, actually. But looking good nonetheless. Use your cars, that's what they are for. So that's that side covered some uh, very nice cars in this lot but yes let's not ignore the big v12 lambos over here oh my goodness lamborghini diablo parked next to an aventador svj how is that combo ladies and gentlemen oh my goodness and this diablo is unbelievably good looking in this white over cream combination sorry got a helicopter taking off over there it's very very loud but uh, yeah i actually haven't seen this one before in person this specific one so uh yeah very very nice to see this joining the rally and then we can't ignore an Aventador SVJ and let's not forget this has an Obitec exhaust so uh, it's going to sound pretty fruity quite keen to hear it actually because I've seen this car before but not with the new exhaust so I'm keen to see what it sounds like I'm sure it's going to be quite loud but nice to see that again and then we've got this Lamborghini Huracan over here which we've seen before on previous rallies and runs and whatnot and uh, yeah he's a bit of a mad lad proper proper driver really enjoys driving his cars but uh, yeah, always love to uh, join these types of rallies and whatnot. Very, very well used, that is for sure. But uh, yeah, a few cars that are pulled up here already are quite nice, as you can tell. But uh, hmm, let's head that side. Because have a look at this. A 300 SL Roadster. Oh my word. That is unbelievable to see on this rally it's the same one that uh, was on the last one if i'm not mistaken but i didn't get to show it in uh, one of those vlogs that i did make for that event but oh my goodness Shoo. we are amongst legends ladies and gentlemen amongst legends that looks seriously seriously good but yeah got a 458 over here boxster s over there lovely 812 uh, finished in rosso foica i think it is or Fiorano, whichever it is, and then this Vantage, and then this incredible combination. Got the Ultima 
over there and we've got the Daytona Coupe over here. Now I'm not actually too sure if this is one of the originals that are in the country because I think there is one or two originals. Um, could very well be but uh, yeah this is the first time I've seen one of these. I think this thing is going to have incredible road presence. I mean look at it. It's insane. I mean that is unreal. There's a 6.2 liter LS3. Yeah, this is going to be quite some fun on the rally, that's for sure. But yeah, that's that lineup done. So this R8 has pulled through over here that we heard come past just now, and uh, looks like the Mercia Lago is going to start up any minute now. You've got the doors up there, scissor doors, iconic. But yeah, you see him getting in, so let's uh, get the start up. As cars arrived, cars are leaving. Got this very cool Bentley special. And then this SLS Roadster. Let's get a start up of this uh, Huracan. Very, very good. Oh, that sounds good, but just yes, the cars are pretty much going to be going around. To the front of the hotel and uh, park up some of them but uh, you can see the Motor Lago is obviously not going to but uh, yeah so I mean once they're all parked up in front I'll also do a bit of a walk around over there but yeah let's just get some driving bits so uh, I think we're gonna get a start up of this uh, SVJ <laughs> if the helicopter doesn't block it expected to be that loud to be honest with you. I've got Matthew in the passenger seat as well. Looks like both V12 bulls are going to be going through to the back. Gotta wait a few extra seconds, gents. Listen to this. We've got this uh, 996 GT3 over here. Pulling in. We've got this random Huracan Spider. Another 300 SL. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is insane. Wow, this is very, very cool. Porsche GT3 3.8. 997.2. Love that generation of GT3. Well, look what it just pulled up, ladies and gentlemen. Ferrari 365 Daytona. Mm -hmm -hmm. And that's one of two that is going to be joining this rally. And also, in a weird turn of events, I've uh, managed to get media for the event, so you'll be seeing plenty more content to come of the K1000 gen, so you can stay tuned. Looks like the Daytona is also going to the back now. 
So yeah, they pretty much all are going to go to the back there and I'll show you once they are all there what uh, the display looks like. Oh, that color and oh, the combination is just so beautiful. And here is the other Daytona, oh my goodness, as the, as the other one just went down there now. Sure, with the 599 behind. Also lovely color combo on that one. That one sounds fruity. Lovely, lovely combo pulling in here now. Hey, how's it? Ooh, that sounds good, man. <laughs> got a level 458. Oh, we've also got the Ferrari 550. Sorry, man, 575. That's a manual one as well. Sure. Very, very special with the Gordini behind. <laughs> oh my goodness, gents. Not only do we have this Speciale, but we have the Bugatti Veyron. Oh my goodness, that is insane. It has arrived, gents. Oh my goodness. This looks very, very special. But I mean, we have to focus on this Bugatti Veyron. Oh my goodness. This is seriously, seriously special. <laughs> Capturing everyone's attention with a 16.4 engine at the back there. Oh my goodness, look at this. So yeah, this is the first time that I'm showing this one on the channel, but I have seen it before. But uh, you guys wouldn't have on the channel because I haven't actually had a moment with it until now. So yeah. And of course it comes with a swarm of people behind it because why not? Look at that. Just capturing everyone's attention. As you do. Casual 300 SL as well. So I'm going to try and walk through some of the cars here with uh, all the hundreds of people that are in front of me. But uh, yeah, all the cars are starting to uh, come through to the front. The display is looking really, really nice. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through these people yet to show you some of the cars. But uh, give me a sec. And then we've obviously got these cars which have uh, just pulled up as well. And yeah, this is quite an incredible event. The vibe is unreal. I mean, it's just popping off. Everything is looking so good seriously seriously impressed and i mean with the scenery as well as the backdrop can't get any better can't get any better hypercars supercars classic cars muscle cars whatever you want it is all here i mean yeah anything you want as i said <laughs> and as you can see got some more supercars this side as well with the 458 and you can see all the stickers are being loaded up here with the cape 1000 all the branding all the goodies yeah what a vibe so many people and so many nice cars as well but yeah got this a bit wrong when it came in but it is a 575 and it is the only manual in the country with a very very nice uh, specification the sort of gray over red and there's the manual shifter <laughs> very special and yeah i've got a few cars down there with the svj as well i've got this ultima which is just pulled up there as well Let's see if we can have a sneak inside uh, one of my boxes I gave him. It's a, a six-speed carrier. Very, very nice. Box. And then we've got this uh, very, very used SLS. I want to see if I can see the mileage actually, because I would love to know. Let's see if we can see the mileage of this quickly. So it actually has 54,000 on, much less than, than I expected. But I mean, those 54,000 kilometers were very hard driven and very much enjoyed. That's for sure. But yeah. That is pretty much that lineup so far. Still a lot more cars to go. So we've just come back to the parking lot over here and we've got the boys which have showed up as well. And uh, I've just found out that this is a official continuation Daytona Coupe. So it's not one of the original, original cars, but as close as you can get pretty much. So it's not quite a replica either. So yeah, pretty, pretty special nonetheless. Only five of these uh, continuations in the country apparently. Oh, I didn't see this roll in. This is very cool. Yellow 458 with a rather appropriate plate as well. 
Oh, another Mertia Lago has just pulled up. That one is a manual and straight barbed. Oh my goodness. Lovely, lovely color on this uh, F12 Berlinetta coming through. That looks too good. Sure. Also got the A12 over here. So it uh, looks like this 355 GTS and this uh, GT3 RS over here is pulled up, which is very nice. But yeah, pretty much all the cars are here already, so I think that's going to be that, ladies and gents. Please stay tuned for all the content to come. We, as I said, uh, we're going to do the uh, whole rally and um, yeah, I'm hoping I'll maybe post a video in the midweek and then one at the end of the week again. But yeah, one Daytona, two Daytonas, it's unbelievable such an incredible lineup with the best views you can get but yeah i think i'll end the vlog here gents i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one